Hey guys, I wanted to make a comparison video of the GoPro Hero 11 and the GoPro Hero 9. These are obviously older cameras, um, and the GoPro Hero 12 Black just released. And it has a few more features like HDR, um, a tripod mount, that's about it. But it also got rid of GPS to increase battery life. And I'm making this compar uh, comparison just so you can decide uh, which camera you might want uh, to save some money instead of paying for the new GoPro Hero 12 Black. So on the outside of these, the first thing I noticed um, is that the battery door on the GoPro Hero 11 Black was sticking out a lot and it wasn't completely flush with the camera. And I got this one as a replacement of when I broke my Hero 8 Black and the door was flush on this one. So I took it out of the GoPro Hero 9 Black and I took the one out of the GoPro Hero 11 Black and what I noticed is that the one from the 11 Black if it zooms in it's just like this straight part here but on the 9 Black it has this little lip here and so putting the door from the 9 Black on the 11 Black makes it completely flush and putting this one on the Hero 9 just like on the Hero 11 it sticks out so if it if it doesn't have that lip on the door then it seems to stick out but if it has that little lip then it's completely flush with the camera Another thing I noticed on the 9 black, I haven't tried this out yet on the 11 black, but if you put this in max lens mod uh, mode, and it'll have horizon leveling on, and even though you don't have the max lens on, it'll still be on super view, and it'll still have the horizon lock on without the lens. So I thought that was interesting because you can have the horizon lock on without spending money for the max lens mod. I'm going to go ahead and try this on the 11 black 2. So turning on the max lens mod. Okay, so now it's on. It has this little X here. Okay, so it has horizon lock on. And it has max super view on, just like the Hero 9. If I press record, it also has a horizon lock on super view mode. So I thought that was interesting because you don't need the max lens mod to have horizon lock on on either of these cameras. I'm sure it's the same for the Hero 10 as well. So the lens will probably give you a, a bigger uh, field of view. But if you want to save some money, then you could probably just do with that. And it'll only be at 2.7K, but you'll get a wide view and get that horizon leveling. So another thing about these cameras, the lens are exactly the same. These bottoms are the same, the doors are the same. Same with the 10 and the 12. So if you break any of these parts or they just get loose or something, you could just buy any part for it from the 9, 10, 11, and 12 and they should all work on these generations of camera. So a big difference between these cameras is that um, the Hero 10 introduced the GP2 chip the 11 also has the GP2 chip. The 9 has the old GP1 chip from the GoPro Hero 6. And I've watched videos before of people complaining about the touchscreen being very slow because of the old chip. And if I turn this on. So turning these on, this is the Hero 9 black and this is the Hero 11. Another thing is that this is kind of just gray here for the light and this is white. I don't know why that's different. So just going on the Hero 9, going through the UI, it's definitely a little bit sluggish. You can tell going through here and it seems just a little bit laggy. While going through the newer version, it's much more smooth, better experience. And you can definitely tell that it's definitely struggling a little bit versus this. But that's pretty much the main difference between the chips. I mean, the 11 also shoots in higher frame rates. The 11 uh, shoots 4K at 120 frames per second, while the 9 shoots 4K at 60 frames per second. 
and 5K at 30. This shoots 5K at 60 frames per second and 2.7K or 1080p at 240 frames per second. As you can see, just moving through here is really slow. This one does 1080p at 240 and 2.7K at 120, I'm pretty sure. But if you go on these here, you can definitely see how slow the 9 is. It's very laggy versus this. This is very smooth and nice while this is just very laggy. And I can see this being an issue. If you're trying to hurry with something, then this might get in your way. But if you're not, it's usually probably going to be fine. So if you want to buy a GoPro, what are the prices of these? So the 12 just got released. And if you go under cameras on the GoPro website, you'll see that the GoPro Hero 9 is no longer listed. But if you search for the GoPro Hero 9 using the search bar in their website, then it'll show it right away and they have it for sale at $250. You could probably get a better deal either used on eBay or get it on Best Buy probably for a good deal. Um, same with the Hero 9, it's still on the GoPro website. Right now it's, I think, about $350. Um, on the GoPro website, but there's other places you can shop and get at a better deal probably and They're both great cameras um, I haven't had no overheating issues with the 11 black I've heard of a lot of people having that but I haven't personally The 9 black though has gotten really hot for me for some reason uh, Just having it on the screen without it recording or anything. It's gotten pretty hot so I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but I'll have to use it more to see. Um, other than that, that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching.